Good morning. Well, it's a bit of a grim day today. Not too bad. It's supposed to rain later on, um, but I'm going to try to get some work done. Uh, I've got to on my agenda for finishing this garden so we can get the planting done. I have to finish doing uh, a trench right behind me over here from the greenhouse to the garage. Um, and basically what that'll allow me to do is to put in a whole bunch of plants over there. Uh, I've also got all the water, um, the sprinkler head covers, the, the access panels. I haven't buried them in two years. So that'll get that whole corner kind of, you know, usable again. And it'll also give a bit of hope for that poor old cypress that's not really done well since we put it in. So yeah, let's, uh, let's start digging a trench and uh, see how far I can get today before it starts raining. All right, let's go. Yeah, I've done what I'm going to do today. It's going to rain. It looks like it's going to rain in about 20 minutes or half an hour. Uh, so I have the basic of the trench done. I have 30 centimeters deep. And then you put the, the conduit, the red conduit um, with the electrical wire in it at the bottom. And then beside that, you put the hose for the irrigation from the, the gray water. And then basically 20 centimeters above that. So like two thirds up. We put this marking mesh stuff. It's a red, kind of a grid of plastic that, that lets you know if you dig down, whoa, don't go any farther, there's electrical cables under there. And it's kind of a natural, like a French thing. That's the way they do it. So, it's, yeah, basically I have the most of the trench done. I've got to clean up a little bit at the ends. Uh, then it's just a matter of putting that cable through and uh, hooking it up. Uh, well, I don't hook it up today, but, you know, getting it so that it goes into the garage and then also I have to, the other big thing I have to do is I have to dig under the greenhouse. Good morning. Well, it's a couple days later. It's been raining almost continuously or 
certainly hard for the last few days. So I haven't been able to work on the trench, um, but I'm now back on it. Um, the ground is still a bit wet, but luckily not too much of the soil has gone back into the trench. Um, and what I want to do today is to finish digging, or at least start digging under the greenhouse uh, wall, because I'm not too sure how difficult that's going to be. And that's going to be for the hose or for the conduit that's going to have the electrical wire running into the greenhouse when we ever get, you know, lighting or whatever we want in there, right? So, yeah, let's get uh, going to on that. Now, I was originally going to dig in this area over here, um, but what I've decided to do is because I forgot, <laughs> like three years ago when we first moved in, I dug under here already, and I put in this drainage pipe, uh, because if we ever were to water in the greenhouse, we want to have um, canivos or uh, drainage channels in there to take up the water and have it go out to the street. So this actually works well, this line, I've tested it. Um, so what I'm going to do instead is just, because there's such a big hole on the inside all the way in there, I'm just going to knock a little bit of this corner out and then get the two cables and the, uh, the two electrical cables going in, the red conduit for them, and then also the, um, the gray low voltage conduit for the sprinkler system. So yeah, a little different plan, but that's okay. I think it'll work. Just kind of, kind of chop, see what we can chop out of here. So what I've actually decided to do is I'm going to leave all the electric cables, as in the, you know, 230 volt or, you know, the regular household cables, going through this section and I'm just going to do a smaller conduit and leave these wires here so I can just run something down the wall it's not too visible and I'll be fine with that otherwise what I have to do is try to find um, longer cable and conduit for these guys and work on them so I don't think it's that important to have a little bit of a thing just run down the wall here and going under t into the uh, sprinkler system so <clears throat> basically this is the, the general layout I'm going to do and then uh, fill this in once I get the uh, all the sprinklers hooked up. So this is the flow meter. Basically it detects the water going in and measures it so we know how much I'm using. I've got to basically incorporate it into here, not that. It's a wired one. So the water will come up, go through, back down, and back through the system like it, like it would have originally. So yeah, I think that's just going to make things a little easier. And then I've also got to incorporate the shutoff, the on-off shutoff valves for the um, gray water system. So basically, I want to be able to turn off the main water from the from the you know the city water off, and then turn on the gray water. Well, after looking at all my connections that I require over here, I need a whole bunch of 
I need some tees and I need some more elbows. So I just put an order online to get them shipped. So in a couple of days they'll be here and then I can finish off this section and hook this all up with the uh, flow meter and the valves that are gonna shut and choose the water from either taking it from the gray water system or out from the street. So for right now, I'm just gonna bury these pipes and this electrical up to around here. Uh, I've already got the electrical going under into the greenhouse. I remember that I had uh, already had dug a hole under the, the wall. It's, that's how long it's been. It's been like three years since I did it. But yeah, so that's all good to go. I'm just going to kind of stop here, bury all this up, and uh, see what that gets me today. I think that's gonna do it for today, for this vid. Um, I've buried what I can for the trench. Um, I'm still waiting on some parts, more connectors than usual, uh, to finish up doing the little uh, gray water connections and the valves and all the stuff just to finish off the irrigation system and to get the, the flow meter working. Should be getting that in a couple days. Uh, I think tomorrow I'm gonna to switch to doing concrete more concrete just a little bit I'm going to fix that post and there's a little bit behind me uh, of a walkway that was original that's got a big chip out of it so I'm going to fill that in and yeah we'll see if I can do that tomorrow and then I've ordered metal for the arbor to fix that that's going to be a few days probably next week and then I think after I fix the concrete I'm going to straighten that pole out and start working on uh, straightening poles since the weather's gonna be wonderful this week. So anyways, thanks for watching and uh, hope you have a good day. Cheers.